All right, and we are back with the Bug Team of Isaac. I'm Duke of the Bump. If you're watching this on YouTube, I just beat Laser Cat, and that video should also be up. Let me uh, sync up the chat room again. The Binding of Isaac. Enter. Didn't. I guess Exergia had to go. He never got back to me about whether uh, whether he'll be able to give me the the chat converting script or not. It's been a while since I streamed, as you can see. I'm a golden god now, meaning that I got everything from the original Binding of Isaac, and now I just have to get everything from uh, Wrath of the Lamb to get the Platinum God achievement. Which is proving to be quite difficult. I have not yet been able to get anywhere in the chest. The chest is the last true area of the game after the cathedral. So since I haven't beat the chest with any character yet, I think I will attempt with my favorite character, Kane. Oops. Seven boobs. Yes, indeed. Isaac does have roughly seven boobs uh, more like five because I think in the middle isn't really a boob I mean it's one boob it's not really two boobs okay so favorite character Kane let me get the mouse out of the, uh, the window now I got an XL level as soon as I started the game which means I'm going to go back to the main menu and cheat because really, you, you are at a huge disadvantage if you start on an XL level. Because unless you find enough keys, if you're lucky enough to find two keys, then that's one item room that you miss out on. Because in the basement or the cellar, you don't need a key to, uh, to get the first item room. So it's just kind of cheap of the game. If it's an XL level, then both of the basement levels are combined into one. And you need a key for both item rooms. So to counteract the cheapness, I uh, I restart whenever that happens. Rerolling, yet yeah. <sighs> Guppy's hairball. It's like this little thing that follows you around. It's not really useful for much of anything. Now I won't I won't restart if I get a crappy item in the first room because that is cheap. That's too cheap for even me. Although, I'm taking so much damage right off the bat here, I might not even have to worry about it. Alright. Can I get that heart back there, or was it behind something? Yeah, it's inside, uh, inside a rock. Useless thing, yes indeed, Majin Paul. <sighs> no bombs, so I can't check for secret passages. I guess I will just go on to fight the boss. And it is famine. Pretty easy. Of course, all I'm going to get from this boss is a stupid chunk of meat. So that's two not extremely useful items right off the bat. Do not have high hopes for this room. The Binding of Isaac run in Awesome Games Done Quick is actually pretty good. The dude playing got complete shit items throughout the whole thing, and was still able to make it to. Uh, to the boss of the cathedral. So, so good on ya, Reign of Satan. Of course, he immediately died as soon as he stepped into the boss room, but, you know, shit happens. Uh, Aegis Dragon, welcome to the chat. Glad you can make it. The thing has a stupid habit of pushing bombs. Oh, the, the, the hairball? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Alright, another basement room, not a cellar room. That's uh, one small thing to our advantage. I feel bad about the Hotline Miami stream because going back and watching it, I feel like I was just completely silent for the duration. Relatively. I just wasn't in a very talkative mood. Duke, tell me how to eat an avocado. I've never actually eaten an avocado. I've had guacamole, but I haven't eaten like just an avocado by itself. So I don't know. I mean, I think you can eat it with a spoon. It's like soft enough that you can just like kind of spoon it up. 
But I don't know if that would be very appetizing just by itself. Okay, well, I got that out of my system. That's what I'm doing now, says Kostya. Eating it with a spoon. Did you put anything on it? Like any salt or anything? I don't know, avocado... Something about it, it just... I don't, I'm not, I don't really like guacamole that much either. It just has kind of a gross texture. I don't know, I'm weird about textures though. Like, I'm not that... I'm not that picky about how food tastes. But like, I am... Like, if I, if I don't like the texture of a food, it'll just com completely turn me off on it. Like, peas. Like, snap peas are cool. Peas that are still in the pod are, you know, they can be tasty. But most of my experience with, tea with peas as a kid was the horrible, mushy peas that you get out of a can. So, I don't really eat peas now for that reason. I don't know why anyone would ever eat canned peas. It's just... Ugh. And same with any canned vegetable, really. Especially spinach. Ugh. It's all slimy. It's like eating algae. I like... Raw spinach. That was a pretty good room. Dime, that's a very good thing for Kane in the beginning. Yes. Whoa. Why does it still have the... The boss skull on the map? I thought that disappeared after you beat the mini-boss, huh. Maybe not. Of course, it's possible there have been updates to the game that I'm not aware of. Uh, let's try the bomb out. What the hell? Nope. Oh, it's probably in the next room, then. This is a pretty good uh, beginning so far. I got the mutant spider. Not a bad item. I got health up. Lots of money. I guess I can check out the item room here, since I have a key. I might want to save it for the... Or, the item shop, rather. But I might want to save the key for the item room on the next level. I generally don't like items that make you shoot slower. But the mutant spider, I would say, is actually worth it. Because the trade-off in damage by shooting four shots at once. It, uh... It makes it worthwhile. I think I want to check out the item shop since I have 10 coins. Ooh, man, I wish I could get the compass. Just out of range, though. Okay, well, I'll get a soul heart, and I will get a card. Alright, I'm pretty happy with the beginning so far. Let's go ahead and use that. Uh, is that the trinket bag or the pill bag? I can never remember. I think it's the trinket bag. Trinket bag. That would be worth getting. If I can get 15 coins. Well, already at the boss room. And I have a challenge room that I can't get into. Because I have more than one heart. That was a pill bag? Okay. Well, one person said trinket, one person said pill, so I don't know who to believe. Pill bag is smaller. Okay. Hmm. I'll go back and get that chest in a little bit. Oh, nothing down here. Okay. I wonder. Awesome. I had a hunch. I can bomb my way into that challenge room if I want to. Or can I? Does it work like that? It might not. Yep, it worked. Alright, health up. That was worth spending a bomb. That was way better than taking myself down to one heart, too. Of course, it would have been easy since I have that spike room down there, but... I don't like hurting myself unless there's a good chance of getting a significantly 
better item. Which I guess there was since it's a challenge room. But I like my method better. I have to say, I'm liking this mutant spider. He's making these bosses significantly easier. Five hearts and you haven't opened a second treasure room yet. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Considering I started with Kane. Wow, oh, look at all that money. Okay. Um, I think I'll buy this. Now I have more room for trinkets, which is good, especially in the late game, because in order to get the chest, you have to hold on to a trinket called the Polaroid. It's not really all that useful. But now I can carry the Polaroid and another trinket, if I find any. Which I'm sure I will, at some point. a bad item. Ooh, the Joker. Wow. Go ahead and use that now. Aw, oh, man, I can get the shovel thing. I have lots of hearts, too. Or I can get Bloodlust. They're both really good items. Man, I hate spinning hearts, though. The shovel isn't useless, Majin Paul. Are you crazy? You can skip over entire levels with it. Eh, keep it. I'm good. I mean, yeah, you don't get the item rooms for th for that level if you skip over it. But if you're in the womb, you're not going to get item rooms anyway, so... It is useless because you miss, miss items. Yeah, but... I mean, I agree. I mean, I'd rather get the item than skip the room. But if you already have a pretty good item set up... Man, I can't believe I used to think that boss was so difficult. Another health up. Wow. I think I want to get the bloodlust. I think I have enough health that it would actually be worth it. Because that is a really good item. Especially when you're firing four shots at once like this. The only use for the shovel is for no damage runs. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I guess it's just for a different playstyle. Oh man, I should wait until these things bomb open that chest before I kill them. Well, I guess I can kill one of them. Excellent. I don't know. I might regret getting that bloodlust. But I almost never sell my soul, so it's a good, uh, Good chance to to show that off. Uh, no keys, so no item store. Call me Majin. I got used to this. That's what I called you, isn't it? Ooh, pills. Until the end. Ooh, speed up. That's why I love Kane. No bad pills. By far my favorite character in the game. So if we can hold on to that and not get hit, then that's another uh, health up. Or if I find another... Uh, I forget what those things are called. Spirit hearts? Ooh, gold key. Too bad I have no way of getting to it. Since it would be really useful right about now. The lovers spawns two normal hearts. Oh, not so much for the spirit heart. Oh well. Man, really bad positioning in this room.
Man, having uh, Bloodlust and the Mutant Spider should make certain bosses a cakewalk. Like Mom's Heart and Mom. Should be much easier with the setup. Or the Duke of Flies. Ooh. Nice. Okay, boss in there. Man, still no keys. Okay. Time to look for secrets, I guess. Man, I am on the ball with those secrets tonight. Too bad it's just some money. Alright, well hopefully the boss will uh, drop something that will either give me a key or let me be able to get the gold key over there. Keep your distance from enemies you go in too close and get hit. I mean... Yeah, I guess I'm not the most careful person ever, but you know. Fortune favors the bold. Ooh. Tinted block down there. Might be a key in that. That expression is kind of the YOLO of the old days. Fortune favors the bold, man. It's just an excuse to do dumb shit. Not sure uh, who coined that expression. Damn it! Come on, key. Aw, oh, man. That is the opposite of what I needed. Carpe diem, yeah. Also the old-fashioned YOLO. <sighs> oh, unless I go around bombing looking for the other secret room. That's about all I can do here. That is really a shame. Well, I could use... Uh, I guess I could do the spike room. I hate to even consider that though, but I do have the lovers, so if I take damage, I can get two hearts back. Come on. Damn it. One more. Stupid. Uh, God. That damn spike room. Okay. Apparently that wasn't the best idea. I've never gotten anything from the stupid spike room. I'd say save your bombs. Yeah, probably a good idea. Kill yourself. Well, that's not nice. You shouldn't tell people that, Majin Paul. Even if it is video games. It's okay. I forgive you. Alright, I'm done here. All right, right off the bat. Oh, that isn't the best item I could have gotten, but it'll come in handy for uh, for Mom's heart, at the very least. For anyone new. All that all Mr. Mega does is increase the radius of explosions on your uh, on your bombs, and that card I just used doubled my money, the two of diamonds. Oh, I should have saved it. Could have doubled even more money. Oh well. I have 31 coins. That should be enough. At least he looks like a psycho. That's good enough for me. Yeah, that item does does make you look kind of. Uh, Kind of insane. Ha <laughs> ha. Stupid thing killed himself. Oh god, I hate these enemies. One of my least, least favorite enemies in the game. They do a whole heart worth of damage. And their shit's... 
annoyingly hard to avoid. That might just be me, though. Alright, no keys. Unfortunately. Considering all this money I have. Man, it's going to be really depressing if I don't even get to the chest on this run. Yeah, I do have seven bombs, I guess. Was this... I wonder if that explosion was close enough to that wall. I th it probably was. And that explosion was close enough, so it's not there. Let's try down here. I saw some dumbass on the internet complaining about this game, making the argument that, that the game's impossible because you can only shoot in four directions. And the only way he would ever play the game is if they released a version where you could shoot in eight directions. And I was like, dude, that's just how the game's made. It's not, it's not that style of game. It's like, take your head out of your ass, dude. But, I know there's no point in getting frustrated with idiots on the internet. Because I would be frustrated forever. Because there are an infinite number of idiots on the internet. Infinite, I tell you. Luckily, none of them come to my stream. Well, every now and then. But nobody, at the moment. Mm, yeah, I'll go on ahead and do that, since there's two heart halves laying right there. Ooh. Aw, oh, man. Well, that wasn't worth it. Uh, that's pretty good. You can shoot while moving, the momentum works fine in this game. Yeah, exactly. I think I think the dude just sucked. Wow. Okay, maybe this was worth it after all. Wow, I'm getting an item with every single uh, thing I put in. That's awesome. Uh, Should I blow it up? Yeah, why not? Except, of course, fascinating ar arguments about lava vacuums and toilets. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the chat room has been up to lately. But it's better than a lot of tw Twitch chat rooms out there. So I approve. Alright, well, that was actually well worth it, I think. I got some soul hearts, I got some keys, a bunch of bombs. I am rolling. Hey, Duke. Man, I wish I still had my bloodlust. I'll be making short work of this dude. Ah. Uh. Damn. Damn, damn. The bell. Well, okay.
Uh, according to Majin Paul, the luck foot makes that slot machine the one with the crystal ball drop items every time. That is good to know. Alright, I guess I'm done. Seller? I hardly know her. Wah, wah, wah. That's for you, Morris Dracon. He knows why. Wow, two chests, huh? Let's put the bomb here, just in case that's a secret door. Nope. Can't be that lucky. But I got plenty of, well, two bombs out of it. So it all works out. Ooh. That was pretty fortunate. I have all these keys. Ooh, Book of Revelations? Or is that the Bible? Ah, Book of Revelations. One of my favorite items in the game. <sighs> the pad's pretty good. But man, I gotta go with the book. Especially if I can find the nun's habit later on. Aw oh, man, I would be invincible. I agree, Majin, the book is better. Oh, by the way, when you use the Book of Revelations, it means you're guaranteed to get uh, the four horsemen for whatever the, the floor you're on currently is. In the basement, it's famine. In the cave, it's uh, pestilence, etc. And I think you, you might have a chance of getting the Headless Horseman, too. Man, I would love the Headless Horseman because I could get the pony. Probably won't be that lucky though. Portable slot machine. Cool. But not really worth picking up. Well, I guess I can pick it up and pump some money into it. Yeah, why not? Heart. Coin. Coin. Coins. Man, I'm getting something every time with this as well. I juiced myself. Ooh, pretty fly. Ooh, pill. Well, that was worth it. I got a pretty fly, and I got a speed up. Might come back there if I pick up any more coins. some less players get thousands of viewers I think this does involve some marketing Duke what do you think um yeah I mean a lot of it is marketing um spamming your link uh commenting on other people's videos you know being involved in the community but a lot of it is just playing popular games too a lot of the most popular LPers and streamers got that way just because the people are searching for the games they're playing. I mean, I doubt there are many people out there searching for Laser Cat. But you know what? I'm fine with that because I play the games that I want to play. I'm not, I'm not going to play some super popular game that I don't like just because it'll bring me in viewers. 
F that, man. And also, you know, I don't have slick production values, I don't edit my stuff. But you know, that's okay, because I don't want thousands of viewers, because I like the viewers I have. The viewers that I have are pretty awesome. And I mean, it's not like I'm ever going to make money from this, so, you know, who cares? I don't care about popularity. And the Cuba meat, of course. I've been watching Duke for five years, even before his years-long hiatus. Yeah, sorry about the hiatus, guys. Alright, BRB. Yeah, I mean, if I could quit my job and make money by just streaming and uploading videos full-time, honestly, I don't really know if I would do it. I mean, unless I would make significantly more money than I make at my current job, which I'm not sure I would. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I like streaming, I like making videos, I just don't know if, I, if I'm the kind of person who could do it full-time. In fact, I... I know I'm not the kind of person who could do that. Oops. Because, uh, I mean, I do need to take breaks. I'm a very introverted person. I need, uh, you know, I need time to decompress. I mean, unless I can make, like, twice as much as I'm making now. Even if I could get that big. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'd do it. Of course, I mean, I wouldn't have to stream that often. I mean, it's not like I would have to stream eight hours a day. So I, I don't know. But it's a moot point since I doubt I'm ever going to be in that kind of situation. Unless there are any people watching who want to give me lots of money to play video games and talk. In which case I'm open to offers. Just email me. You get the bump at gmail.com. That, uh, that's another thing about John dies at the end. Um, I mean the dude, I mean he blew up just from word of mouth. And uh, after his book was published I forget his name, but uh, the director of Bubba Hotep contacted him, came to to David Wong about wanting to turn it into a movie, and then David Wong, he loved Bubba, Bubba Hotep, so he thought it was just some dude fucking with him. So he just deleted the, the email and ignored it, but it turned out it was real. So I don't know, occasionally the internet can make dreams come true. Can I send you a friend request on the YouTube? I don't really 
add people to my friends list on YouTube. I don't really use YouTube in that way. Sorry. I, I actually don't think I have YouTube friends right now. I used to add some people who I knew really well. But aren't they kind of doing away with the whole friends, uh, the whole friends mechanic anyway? Isn't it all just subscriptions now? I don't know. I, I don't like a lot of the changes they made to YouTube recently. They, uh, they recently made a change where, uh, I mean, they're trying to merge it with Google Plus is their ultimate goal. So they, uh, they gave you the option of displaying your quote unquote real name under your YouTube videos instead of your YouTube name. Which in my case, I don't use my real name. I use uh, Duke Bumpington. Since they, won't, since they won't let me use Duke at the Bump. And I did that, and all of my videos said Duke Bumpington. And, uh, I don't know, I didn't think it would confuse people. Like, I, I thought they would know that that was Duke at the Bump. But some people said that they were confused by it. And then, I, uh, then I realized that I had no idea how to access my inbox. And the reason was because when I integrated YouTube with Google Plus, it changed everything around and it made it really hard to find the inbox. It was still there, but you had to go through uh, go through a lot of shit to find it. So I just changed it back. So yeah, my videos for the time being are still uh, under Mosherin instead of Duke Bumpington. What I wish they would let me do is change my damn YouTube URL. Because Masharin is a name that I haven't used on the internet in a really long time. It was like one of my first internet names. The latest YouTube layout sucks hard. Uh, the layout I'm not really that concerned about. I mean, it's different. I don't know if it's necessarily worse. But yeah, the whole Google Plus integration, I mean, it could be cool. But the way they're transitioning is kind of a pain in the ass. Able. Well, Cain and Able makes sense. It is bland as, as a white paper. Yeah, I mean, it is bland, but I don't really care about how websites look, so... I'm not hugely, hugely concerned about it. Uh, I don't have any money, so there's no point in checking out the item shop. Let's just head over here and see if, uh, oh! Hi, Lust. Well, that was well worth it, I'd say. You can't make the starting page show uploads only. That's my biggest complaint. Yeah, th what I did was I I went to the uploads only page. Well, you, you can. Uh, you just have, well, not the starting page. But I just bookmarked the uploads only page. And then I used that as my starting page. Instead of going to YouTube.com, I just click on my bookmark. And it just takes me directly to the thing with all, with all the uploads. But yeah, that, that is annoying. You should be able to set the default YouTube start page to only show uploads from people you subscribe to. Alright, uh, I used the book, so presumably this will be Pestilence. Yes. Wow, I must be psychic or something. Man, he's going crazy too. So has anyone else been watching the Awesome Games on Click stream? Are there any speedruns that they would specifically recommend? Because they upload everything to YouTube. Well, not YouTube. I don't think they use, but they uh, they upload the archives of all the stream videos after the uh, after the stream. I would recommend watching the uh, the Mike Tyson's Punch Out Blind Run since that was really cool. Blindfolded Run. 
Even if he didn't beat it, it's still pretty damn impressive how far he did make it. And the Super Meat Boy stream was really cool because they actually got Team Meat on Skype while the stream was going on. Uh, Edmund McMillan and Tommy, uh, I don't know how to say his last name, Refenes, Refenes, Refenes. But yeah, they were on Skype for the uh, for the duration of well, not not the whole stream, but for a good portion of it. They were like answering people's questions and stuff, and you know they were generally blown away by how crazy the person stream running the game was, how crazy, how amazingly good at the game he was. Although it was a little awkward in some parts, I don't know. I guess it was just because everyone was so focused on the stream. They kind of felt like they were ignoring Team Meat. A little bit. I wonder if Edmund McMillan has ever watched any of my stuff. Because I know he like looks for Let's Plays and streams and stuff of his games. I wonder if he ever came across my channel or anything. I am not that big on streams because, well, it's 5 in the morning here. But well, that's a great thing about Awesome Games Done Quick. It's a 24 hour marathon. It's 24 hours a day for like, uh, I think, I think it lasts a week. So no matter what time zone you're in, you're going to be able to watch stuff. Derek, you did watch your stuff, I think. Yeah, he tweeted about one of my Splunky streams once. And he said that, you know, not to brag or anything, but he did say that I'm one of the few LPers he likes. But I never heard anything from him, from him after that, so I don't know if he still watches or not. Derek, you, on the off chance, you still watch my stuff. I think you're awesome. And your games are awesome. Thank you for your kind words. I wish they would release a PC version of uh, of the XB of the XBLA port of Splunky. Damn it! Because it adds a lot of awesome stuff, but uh, obviously if it's on the Xbox, I can't stream it because I don't have a capture device. I mean, it wouldn't be. I don't think it would be that hard, since they do PC ports of a lot of XBLA games. In fact, most of the good XBLA, XBLA games have PC ports by this point. And no point using a bomb to get a bomb. Hmm. Eh, not going to waste bombs to get four cents. That would be kind of desperate of me. Man, I took a lot of damage recently. I need to get my head in the game. I do have a Meat Boy head though, which makes things a little bit more interesting. Maybe in like six years time there will be emulators for XBLA games. Oh, I think there's emulators for XBLA games now. I don't know how playable the games are. But, I mean, XBLA games are made with uh, the XNA framework, which is like, it's super easy to to use that, it, uh, that SDK to port a PC game, I think. Hardly I tried, says Bond and Paul. Oh, I, I thought I heard that someone had a functioning XBLA emulator. Eh, maybe not. But yeah, Castle Crashers finally got a PC port. That's one of the big uh, XBLA holdouts. I'd really like to see a PC port of Shadow Complex. That's a really cool XBLA game. 
There's a speed run of that during uh, AGDQ. That was kind of interesting. But it was one of the speedruns where it was mostly done by exploiting glitches. Which I, I totally understand because the whole point is to just beat the game as quickly as possible without, you know, hacking the code or using save states or anything. So, you know, taking advantage of glitches in the game is totally fair, totally fair game. But it's a little bit more impressive when they play th when they play through the whole game uh, without taking advantage of the glitches. I don't know. Like, just someone being able to keep up that level of skill for the whole duration of the game. It's just really cool. But yeah, there was a major glitch that they used in the Shadowrun speedrun. Shadowrun. Shadow Complex speedrun. That, that let them skip like a significant portion of the game. It was weird. Duke, you could stream Castle Crashers with Moors. Yeah, I could. I don't know. We, we both play Castle Crashers on the Xbox. And I don't really think either of us are huge fans of the game. I mean, it's one of the best beat-em-ups I've ever played. But it's still a beat-em-up. And really, there's only so much entertaining value you can get out of a beat-em-up. I don't know. It's just, it's not my favorite genre. I actually think the glitches add something to the game, like Echo the Dolphin. So illogical, it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, that can be interesting, I guess. But like, a couple years ago, a dude did uh, a Yoshi's Island speedrun. And that game doesn't really have glitches that you can take advantage of. It's just a, uh, just a pretty straightforward, you know, speedrun. And that was one of my favorites, just seeing how well he could play so consistently. It kind of blew me away. But yeah, I mean, glitches can be cool too. Like, I saw a, uh, a speedrun of one of the God of War games recently. And they glitched the game out so that it constantly thought that the player was swimming. Like, even when he wasn't underwater. So, like, <laughs> he was just bypassing... 90% of the game just by swimming through the air over all of it. It was pretty entertaining. So yeah, glitch runs can be cool. Alright, not enough money to really make the item shop worthwhile. Although I do have 10 bombs, so I might want to start looking for secrets sometime soon. Excellent. Oh yeah, I have the burnt penny, which it makes bombs drop occasionally whenever you pick up a coin. Haven't really used it much yet. Uh, I could probably go into the item room now. I have plenty of keys and I might actually have enough money to buy something. The item shop, rather. I always say item room instead of item shop. Damn it. And a luck foot makes bombs drop more often. Oh, well, good to know. Spoon bender makes my shop shots homemade. Not extremely useful, but nice to have, I guess. Ooh, the ladder. That could be pretty useful. I'm going to hold on to my coins and see if I can collect 15. Yeah, I'm, I, I wasn't sure exactly what all the effects the luck foot... Well, the luck foot increases your luck. But I wasn't sure what what all the ramifications of the, of the luck stat were. Like, I know it makes slot machines better. I know it makes the... Uh, Three card money guy better. Like it gives you a 50% 50, 50 chance instead of one in three of getting something from those. But I'm not sure what the rest of the effects are. It would be interesting to uh, 
to learn all that. So, what other games have I played recently? Well, I finished Walking Dead, which is awesome. It was my 2012 game of the year. And uh, I was playing Darksiders 2 for a while, but I kind of gave up on it. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Pokesmot420. Darksiders 2 was my most disappointing game of 2012. I actually had fun with it up until the last few levels of the game, but I felt like it really took a turn for the worse later on. And I, I have some specific reasons for that, but I'm not really going to get into it. So yeah, gave up on Darksiders 2. Um, been playing Super Hexagon, obviously. I finally beat Hexagoner today, actually. And uh, I've tried to play Hexagonist. And I put a little bit of time into it, and uh, my best time in Hexagonist is like 15 seconds. And I played Hotline Mi Miami, of course. Really, really excellent game. One of my favorite games of 2012. Um, 30 Flights of Loving was another game from 2012 that I really loved. It's the sequel to Gravity Boom. And a lot of people are kind of down on it because it costs $5. And it's only like 15 minutes long. You won 15 coins, bring your bombs back north. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So yeah, I tweeted my, uh, my top games of the year. Follow me at Duke of the Bump. Well, follow me at Duke of the Bump and also at Duke LPs. Duke LPs is the, uh, is where I, where I announce streams and stuff. But yeah, I tweeted my top games of the year. And in case you're not following following me on Twitter, they are number one was uh, The Walking Dead. Number two I think number two was Hotline Miami. Number three was 30 Flights of Loving. No. Number four was Hotline Miami. Oh no, number four. Yeah, number four was Hotline Miami. Okay, one was The Walking Dead. Two was 30 Flights of Loving. Damn, I can't remember exactly. Oh, well, anyway. The Walking Dead, Hotline Miami, 30 Flights of Loving. Um... Oh, Spelunky. Spelunky was my number two. I counted it because even though it technically came out on PC before, I'm counting the XBLA release. And the number five was Tennis, TNNS, an Android game, but I think I'm retroactively changing it to Super Hexagon. Alright, the ladder isn't as good as an item that lets you fly, but it's almost as good. In rooms where you don't have enemies with pr that fire projectiles, it can be extremely useful. Why are you so miserly with bombs? You get more bombs when you pick up pennies and there's a ton waiting there. Yeah, I guess that's true. I did kind of forget that I had the burnt penny. Of course, I don't have to use a bomb now that I have the ladder. I don't know. I, I'm used to saving all my bombs from where I was doing the uh, the shield run because you need as many bombs as possible to really have a chance against fighting Satan. You can go back and get the coin to the east before the crown room too. Eh. I got what I came here for. Darkness. Aw oh, man. Accidentally lost focus somehow. 
Hmm. Blood machine, eh? Well, I don't have enough health to really feel confident about pumping a lot of hearts into that. I am slightly intoxicated, so I apologize if I make any dumb mistakes. I'm glad I have my straight, my head on straight for Laser Cat, though. I wouldn't have wanted to, uh... Wouldn't have wanted to be dumb while I was playing that. That was a cool little game. I'll have to see if that dude has made anything else. The worst part is that you have the world, which is pointless on darkness. Yeah, it would be nice if if I used the world and it made the, the darkness curse go away. I usually draw a map on paper myself if I encounter darkness. I am way too lazy to do something like that. Alright, see you later, Majin Paul. Glad you can come out. Sorry it's so late where you are. Good night. Ooh. Now, neither of these are better than the Book of Revelation, so... Sorry, library. Magnet. I guess that's okay. Doesn't really do me a lot of good. Hey! What the hell just hit me? Oh, I guess there was a fly in that poop. I used to draw a map on graphing paper. Oh, by the way, hello, Pokesmot420. I used to draw a map on graphing paper with the original Metroid when I was a kid. I did that with uh, Shining in the Darkness, the old, uh, the old Genesis. RPG. Of course, with that, it was a little easier because you actually had a map in that game. You just had to use a certain item to bring up the map. So all I had to do was use that item, bring up the map, and then copy the map down. But the map didn't show you where anything was. All it showed you was uh, just, just the, the floor layout. Wow, another world card? Jesus. The Bloody Penny. The Bloody Penny gives you hearts when you pick up money. The Burnt Penny gives you bombs. I don't remember what the Matchstick does. Oh yeah, Temperance. That's what that does. Alright, well here's what I'll do. I'll use one of my world cards on the boss. And then when I kill it, I'll come back and get the other world card. With the Curse of Darkness, it would have been a lot smarter for him to add special door frames for each type of room and not just present item rooms. Yeah, I mean, it would have made it easier, but it would have kind of negated the, uh, the drawback of the Curse of Darkness. It's really great to have the ladder when you're fighting these guys. Because you can just stand here and shoot them, and they can't do shit about it. Or, you know, a flying item, obviously. Does anyone remember what the matchstick does? Because I might go back for it if it's better than the burnt penny. I know it has something to do with bombs, but I don't remember what exactly. I hate these things. Among my least favorite enemies. Damn it! I know I've complained. I, I must have complained about these guys a dozen times in previous streams. But man, what jerks. Or a bomb drops with other items sometimes. That might be what the mash does.
Uh, the map, if I can come up with 15 cents. Shouldn't be impossible. Oh god, I thought I'd be able... Why can't I use... Oh, I guess I have to be... See, that sucks. You can't use a ladder on a certain side of the hole. I can't... I can't stand here and use the ladder to go over the hole from this side. I have to be on this side. That's really dumb. Alright, let's go back and try to find what I missed. Oh god. I hate these things too. Mostly I just hate them because of the sound effect they make. Man, well, I have 16 bombs, so might as well make use of them somehow. Jerk. Well, I killed the bad one with the bomb anyway. What's your goal? Uh, my goal. <laughs> My ultimate goal is to get to the chest and completely beat the game. But I'm not expecting it. My, my main goal is to at least get to the chest. If I can get to the chest, then I can show off what it's like on stream. Um, I, I've not, I have yet to beat the, to actually finish the chest. I haven't even made it to the boss of the chest. I don't know what the boss of the chest is. It is ridiculously challenging. I don't know if I'll ever be able to beat the chest. Oh. The boss isn't anything special. Yeah, well, who knows if I'll ever actually get to that point. Oops. Oh, the Emperor. I can warp to the boss if I want to. Ooh, the hoof. That is definitely worth picking up. The hoof increases your speed, I think? Or, or was my speed all the way up? The hoof doesn't do what it used to do. It used to just be a straightforward damage upgrade. I don't know what it does now, but I know it's good. I know I looked it up once and it was really good. So I will keep the hoof and I will keep the world card and I will blow up that slot machine. Just because there's too much stuff around there. And it's annoying me. I won't spoil it for you, but you've already fought the boss most likely. Um, don't know what it could be. That's a torn page, right? Yeah, it was a torn page. Which is, it's it's okay. It gives you like a 5% chance of, uh, of doing the effect of the Necronomicon if you get hit heart under the coins near the machine. Well, I, I'm, I'm full up on hearts, though. Yeah. I already have maximum hearts at the moment. You should buy the spirit heart from the shop for five coins, too. Uh, let's wait and see if this boss gives me money. If it does, then I'll go on ahead and buy the map. And if not, then I'll come back and get the uh, get the spirit heart and the card. It was half a soul heart? Really? I didn't see that. Well, 
No, there's half a regular heart there. Is this the room you meant? I don't see a soul heart. Oh. Okay. Bad memory. It's okay. I have a bad memory too. I couldn't remember that Mallard is a kind of a duck. Not a male duck. Oh, the world doesn't damage the boss. I was thinking of the sun. I, I, I always get those two mixed up. Because the sun does the effect of the world. And it also completely refills your hearts. And it does damage, damage to everything on the screen. The world is just a map. Oh well. It's not like I would have been, been able to bring both of them with me anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. Haha, <laughs> ha. I killed your pony. You're effectively useless now. I killed your pony. There's nothing you can do about it. Ooh. God room. Ooh. Scapular. I've been blessed. I wouldn't even take the piece of meat, but that's just me. Well, Meat Boy is useful. You just have to be careful not to let him screw you. The sun is like the ultimate card. You should hold it and only use it in an emergency. Yeah, I know, but I thought I had two of them, but I actually have zero of them. The only reason I would have used one is because I thought I had another one, or access to another one. Alright, the Emperor, let's uh, put a, <gasps> damn it, I was going to put a bomb there and see if I could scatter some of those items. Okay, the world and the goat hoof. That's what I want to hold on to. Duke, I feel terribly bossy. Sorry, I do watch to see you play. I just want you to win, that's all. Well, that's okay. I appreciate the help. I know your intentions are good. But on the other hand, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Wow, that sounded really spooky. That's pretty cool. Alright. Let's buy that. Wheel of Fortune. Meh. And buy that. Let's use the Wheel of Fortune just so I can blow it up. Ooh, Cancer! Yes! That is a good item. It effectively doubles your shot speed. Probably my favorite trinket. And I, I always feel really bad when I get really excited about getting Cancer. I was hoping that in the Binding of Isaac run in the Awesome Games on Quickstream, I was kind of hoping, well, part of me was hoping he would find the cancer item during the stream because it's a charity event to donate to a cancer prevention fund, like cancer prevention research. And it would have just been ironic if he got cancer while he was streaming for that purpose. Oh my god, I don't like these things. I want them to go away forever. But he did not end up getting cancer. So I did not have the chance to see the hilarious occurrence. Did I hear video games cause cancer? I did. School shootings too. The Polaroid, what it does is when you have when you get hit and you're down to your last half of a heart it gives you a temporary shield it's really not that good but the thing about the polaroid is you need it to get to the final area of the game but i'm not going to pick it up now how come they cause cancer i think he was joking kostya i think it was a uh i think he was being facetious just like I was being facetious when I said the video games cause school shootings.
Wow, the magnet actually came in handy there. I can get these coins without having to worry about going between the uh, the thwomps. We're well, not the thwomps, but uh, what are the things from the Legend of Zelda, the spiky things that come after you? There's a sp uh, there is a specific name for them. It probably didn't make sense because none of the names for anything in Zelda make sense. Like the bats? They're called keys for some reason. Why? Who knows? And the uh, the meat monster things that eat your things that eat your shield? They're called like likes. I don't know what's up with that. Man, getting some massive slowdown on, on the screen. You guys know that the Binding of Isaac is getting a, a console port? I think it's going to be an XBLA and PSN game. And the graphics are all like pixelated and 16 bit. Which. I'm kind of. I don't know. I don't think this game really needed stylized 16 bit style sprites. The snakes are called ropes. Yeah, that's another. Well, that one kind of makes sense because the snake kind of looks like a rope. Oh crap, I need to use my book. I think the weirdest name for something in the Zelda universe is the bouncing rabbit ear things. It's called a pole's voice. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Well, I am surprised that I that I, I haven't gotten greed yet. Usually it's just a matter of time. Slow down helps. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. I don't need a crutch. I'm badass enough to beat the game without slowdown. <laughs> that was another funny thing. During the uh, Binding of Ice Extreme at AGDQ, he said that uh, he was playing on a computer uh, that he wasn't that he wasn't used to. And that he was used to playing on a computer where the game performed much worse. So he was used to getting slowed down a lot. Slow down helped me get the no damage achievements. Just set the quality to highest. Well, I always had the quality on highest. But even with slow down, I don't think I'd be able to get the no damage achievements. But yeah, he, he was complaining that... Uh, that it was much harder because he didn't have slowdown, which I thought was kind of funny. But I, I had a, ser a similar experience um, with a bullet hell shooter I was playing. It was much easier because of slowdown. But I don't know, it does kind of feel cheap to use slowdown to your advantage. I mean, not cheating exactly, but. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. I was wondering when I'd finally find the item ready in this area. Range up. Eh, it could be worse. Telepathy for dummies, that is not better than the Book of Revelation. What are you trying to pull, game? The game is pretty glitchy. Yeah, that is one reason that I'm looking forward to the console ports. Is that hopefully they'll finally be able to hammer out all, all of the glitches. I mean, part of me hopes that the port gets released on PC as well. Kind of like the La Mulana port did. But part of me doesn't want that to happen. 
because I've already played this version for 130 hours and I already have most of the achievements in this version and I really don't want to have to do that with another version of the game. I mean, of course, I'm, I'm glad the game was successful enough to get a console port, and I'm glad more people will, will be exposed to it. But man, I really don't want to have to do all this again. I, I I'll, I'll probably give that version a pass when it does come out. Why would you play it on a console instead of a PC? Well, some people are just opposed to PC gaming in general. Like, they don't have a, P a PC, they don't have a gaming quality PC, they don't like using a keyboard, which, you know, I guess I can understand, because I was kind of the same way for when I was like a real little kid. Like, I liked, I liked Nintendo games, and I didn't like computer games, because you had to use a keyboard, and it was weird. But eventually, you know, I got used to using the keyboard and mouse, you know, just like anything else. I'm gonna start looking for some secrets. I have all these bombs. God damn it, Meat Boy. I am going to kill you and myself. I will kill both of us in a very gory murder suicide. It'll make all the headlines. I mean, assuming my computer holds up, which, you know, knock on wood, I really can't see myself buying any of the new consoles. I mean, I, I can't see myself getting a Wii U. Yes, the gamepad thing is cool in some ways, and uh, it's neat, but I, I can't see myself getting that, and I can't see myself getting a new Xbox or PS3 when they come out either. I think I'm... Uh, PC gamer forever and more. I mean, unless the consoles are either like really cheap or they do something that really blows me away. Which the Xbox. The Xbox, I think, is going to make a shift more towards a general media box and not focus as much on the gaming aspect of it. I don't think gaming wise it'll be that much different than the Xbox 360 and I think they're gonna make a big push for uh, for you know th they want the Xbox to be the set-top box not the video gaming console they want everyone to buy an Xbox not just gamers so I think they're gonna push games kind of into the background and make that their primary focus with whatever the next Xbox is I could be wrong but uh, that's the direction I see them going with it. And Sony, man, I just don't know if Sony's gonna be able to get their shit together. I don't know, I love the PlayStation, I love the PS2. There are some cool PS3 games that I would be interested in playing, but they've just made so many missteps with the, the PS3 and the, the PSV. The Vita. Alright, man, I don't have a lot of health. I have no faith in modern gaming. Well, I wouldn't go that far, Postmod. I have a lot of faith in, uh, in PC games and in, uh, in indie games, especially. I, I think the indie games that have come out in the past couple years are more exciting than any AAA game. And uh, I think it's only going to get better. Console gaming, I do think, I mean, it's kind of sad to say. But I do kind of think it's on its way out. I think PCs are going to be the new consoles. I mean, you all saw the announcement for the Steam box, right? I mean, if Steam can pull off, uh, you know, a cheap little PC that people can put in their living room and hook up to their TVs and not have to worry about compatibility or anything like that. I think that might be the future of what we think of as consoles. 
Now, obviously, there are a lot of hurdles they're going to have to, uh, to overcome. I mean, first of all, I'm assuming this team boss is going to be Linux-based. So they're going to have to either figure out a way to do Windows emulation, or not emulation, but whatever Wine is, figure out a way to do that flawlessly, or convince all of the third parties that they need to start porting their games to Linux. Which, I would love it if that happened, but I don't think it's very likely. So yeah, the next few years are going to be interesting, seeing where gaming in general goes. But what I am confident about is that no matter what happens, there's always going to be new, new indie games coming out that, uh, that, are, that are worth playing. I mean, the way indie games have picked up Steam in the past few years, it's just very, very exciting to me. Okay. I probably, uh, I probably shouldn't have been talking so much while I was doing that. Smartphones too. That's another big sea change, sea change in gaming that's happened recently. It's going to really affect the future of gaming. Okay, one more try. I just need to use the restroom first. Steam boss is going to be $999. Is that true or are you just pulling numbers out of the air? Alright, I'll be right back. Thank you for your patience. Four ninety nine minimum for the Steam box. I think that's a pretty reasonable price for a new video game console. Look at these horns. Occasionally, it makes tears shoot out in four directions. It's nice, but it's not really the sort of thing that you can control or count on. So it's not one of my favorite items. Gluttony. Well, you should stop being such a glutton. I am severely out of practice. Alright, one more try. <laughs> I want to see the steam box succeed. Yeah, me too. I mean, if anything else, it's more competition in the video game console space, and more competition is always good for consumers. Man, it is going to be so embarrassing if I can't even make it to the womb. I mean, it has been a while. Contrary to uh, to what Just Drop might have said, his lies and slander. Kamikaze. I'm probably not even going to use that. I don't even know why I picked it up. The only time I can see myself using the Kamikaze 
is... Well, I, I guess I can use it. I mean, if I don't have any bombs, and there's something that I need to bomb, and I have a decent amount of health. That's the only time I would use it. So yeah, not extremely useful. You just gotta have Zen Life Focus. Well, I'm not really in a Zen state of mind right now. Use it when I need to use a bomb and there's a heart right next to me. Yeah, that's... That's another good time to use it. But I would take almost any other spacebar item over the Kamikaze. Why... Why did I do that? There's no reason I should have done that. Uh... Wow, I should have bought the candle. Instead of, uh... Instead of the pill. Oh well. I used to think the candle sucked. Back before I really understood how it worked. Now I like it. It's, it's, it's pretty good. I am glad I got the balls of steel though. So somebody bought me the basement collection on Steam, which is the collection of all of Edmund McMillan's old Flash games, and uh, some of them just really aren't that good. I have to say, I played that Triacnid game, and uh, it's not really fun. One last chance to try to get some coins. Ooh! Wow, I'm glad I came in there. Usually, I just don't bother with the pain rooms. I never got Spirit of the Knife from one before. Jesus. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with how that worked out. Did I play Cunt yet? Uh, I played it on the website, like, a while back. I haven't played it in the Basement Collection. But, uh, the one game in the Basement Collection that's really good is Time Fuck. Or Time F-C-K F-C-U-K. It's like a really cool puzzle platformer kind of game. How about Ether? Uh, ha I haven't tried Ether yet. But uh, Triacnid is not that great. And, and yeah, I understand. It's, it's an early game. It's not, uh, you can't expect it to be awesome. But Timefuck is actually really good. Uh, yeah, I will take the Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh. Never mind. I always say, for some reason, I always say the Dead Sea Scrolls are the one that drops. Is, is the one that drops cards. But it, it's the one that gives you a random item effect. Man, I can't believe I got Spirit of the Knife from a pain room. I'm... 99% of the time, when I go into a pain room, it's red chests. And then most of the time when I open a red chest, it's just spiders. Like, that's it. But yeah, the basement collection, uh, the other cool thing about it is that it has audio commentary for for the games, which is pretty neat, from uh, Edmund McMillan. Oh, no keys. Let's see, I have three bombs, so I guess I can start poking around. Excellent. Duke, like you said, luck favors the bold. Indeed. Well, if I don't find a key, I can always just go into the arcade. Spin some of my moolah there. Ow! 
Ow! These guys are assholes, man. Oh, no keys. Let's see if I can go gamble for some. Excellent. Alright, before I spend any more money, let's go see what's in the item shop. Oh, hell yeah. The habit. Alright. So now, every time I get hit, it recharges whatever my current spacebar item is. And if I can get the Book of Revelation, then it makes me effectively invincible. Because every time I get hit, or every two times I get hit, it fully recharges the book, and I can just use it and immediately get another soul heart. Which is what I'm going to hope for. Habit plus Book of Revelation is the best combination of items in the game. Habit plus Book of Revelations plus the wafer makes you actually invincible. It's like almost impossible to die if you have all three of those items. Well, I have a ton of soul hearts. Might be worth it to actually try this thing. Oh, I recharged my, uh... My thing. Oops, I should have done that again before I picked up the heart. Oh well. Oh, I have the lovers too. I can go ahead and use that. Ivy bag. Well... No. No. I was going to say, with the habit, it might be cool. Go ahead and pick up the Polaroid, since uh, I don't have any other trinkets. Yeah, the IV bag plus the habit would be pretty cool. Well, I don't know. Would, would it recharge? I'm going to have to try that, see what happens. All right. Well, you don't need to re recharge the IV bag, so I guess it doesn't even really matter that much. Well, uh, let's go on ahead and uh, hold on to it, at least for this room. See if I can get something good from this guy. That's the uh, effect of the Polaroid kicking in there. Well, I, got, I got down to half a heart, so it gave me... Uh, the Book of Shadow Shield for a little bit. The IV bag is infinite charges already, yeah. So yeah, doesn't matter with the habit. That was pretty cool. Kane is good at arcade rooms, yeah. Yeah, it's what he was what he was built for. Just keep using it and your Polaroid will show up, right? It won't hurt soul hearts. You know, I don't know. Yeah, it still still takes a soul heart even. Well, it's not taking a soul heart every time, which is kinda weird. Took one there. I guess it was because the shield was still wearing off. Oh yeah! I can just jam on the button while my shield's up. Wow, that's broken. Wow, that's crazy. Thanks for the suggestion, Sword Thumb. Wow. I have a shit ton of money. Of 
course, I hate going to arcade rooms on stream because I know it's horrendously boring for the audience. But uh, I might be able to uh, get some cool stuff. I may be able to get the poop hat if it ever shows up. Holy crap, I have a lot of money. I never realized the power of this combination before. I just assumed that the shield wouldn't affect any kind of voluntary damage, like the blood bank or the portable IV bag or, or any of that. Well, apparently it does. It's too bad the IV bag can't drop blood bags. Yeah, that would be the ideal situation, wouldn't it? So get soul hearts this way infinitely. Yeah, that's true. Get soul hearts, how? Because every now and then the uh, the three card money guy or the shell game guy drops soul hearts. Ah, didn't get the poop hat. Oh well. coins am I going for? I'm just going until the guy gives me the poop hat, honestly. Or until I have 99 coins, I guess. Or until you guys say, this is boring, Duke, go do something else. Which I know it's boring, but however much you guys can handle. already have a scat toll then you can use him infinitely? Huh, I didn't know that. I thought uh, I thought there was still a chance that he would drop the scat toll and it just wouldn't do you any good because you already have it. You can use it about seven times before the shield burrs out it looks like. To eventually blow himself up. I've never seen the shell guy, the shell game guy, blow anything up. Or blow himself up, rather. Man, was I streaming that game where I got three dollars in one game? I don't remember if that was on stream or not. It was crazy. I wasn't even Kane, and through the course of the game, I got three dollar bills in one game from different slot machines and stuff. This time I'm, uh, I'm taking the hard route. Oh, that's 99, 99 coins. I guess I could keep trying for the poop hat, or I can just head out. I think I'm happy with 99, I guess. I'm... Nah.
Man, that was really interesting. It never occurred to me that uh, that it would work out that way. Uh, hello, Citron Van. I'm sorry you missed the stream. I wish I could stream at the perfect time so that everybody who wanted to see could come. Oh crap, I forgot to pick up the Dead Sea Scrolls. I need to go back for that. I mean, I could hold on to the IV bag, but I think I have enough money. Call me crazy, but I think 99 coins is, uh, that should probably do it. I'd bring myself down to half a heart if I was you. Meh. <laughs> All right, more money. Man, this has been a really lucky run. If I don't at least make it to the cathedral, I'm going to be very disappointed. Alright, the game kit. Sweet. That's the effect that I got from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Wow, that was awesome. And I got a health up. Because soul hearts go first, he is missing out on a ton of invincibility. Uh, that's true, but I'd rather keep myself at full health, just for if I take a lot of damage in a short period of time. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm done on this floor. Well, that's one good use that the Polaroid has that, uh, makes the Polaroid better than, better than I thought it was previously. Oh, wow, money. Uh, so, so amazing. Do I have some kind of schedule when I stream? Not really. I used to stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Um, but I kind of, I kind of don't like doing that just because sticking to such a rigid schedule. You know, I'm not always in the mood to stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But I am trying to stream at least once a week now that I'm back to streaming again. And it's usually going to be on a weekend. I'm thinking Sunday is a good day to stream, but today I happen to have a Saturday free, so I thought I'd go ahead and stream today. But yeah, every week on Sunday is probably the best bet. Um, but I'm not going to stick to a very specific schedule. The best way to uh, to know when I'm streaming is to follow me on Twitch, subscribe, or follow me on the Twitter or Facebook account because I always post an update when I'm streaming. Uh, oh yeah, let's see what let's see what this pill does. It's still the end. Not bad. Ooh, the map, nice. And I can get a soul heart. What the hell? I'll get a bomb too. I made a money right now. All I need right now is money equals power. Yeah, seriously. That would be pretty nice. Ooh. All right, I'm going to grab that and then use the fool to teleport out. That's the best use of the fool card. Telepathy for dummies. Uh, I think I'll stick with the, uh, I'll stick with the Dead Sea Scrolls. 
All telepathy for dummies does is it's the effect of the bent spoon. It gives you the homing shots, but you have to use it every time. And and you have to let it recharge. So it's not really that great. So now when I get hit, not only do I deal damage to the enemies, but it also recharges my Dead Sea Scrolls. Very nice. I guess I can start looking for secrets, since I have 20 bombs. Telepathy for dummies is just as bad as Dead Sea Scrolls? I don't agree with that. I think the Dead Sea Scrolls is better. Usually the effect of the Dead Sea Scrolls is pretty good. Occasionally you do get like the Kamikaze or something. Which sucks. But usually it's something good. Oh, why am I bombing for secrets? I already found the secret room in this area. Damn it, Duke. Stop being such a dummy. Well, I mean, there is another secret room, but it's not usually worth spending bombs on. What does it do? The Dead Sea Scrolls does a random effect of one of the, uh, just a random item. And, uh, so yeah, it varies. Like this time, it gave me a limit mishap, which is not extremely useful. With uh, Chubb and Chad, if you feed them a bomb, it does a pretty good amount of damage. Up, oh, missed with that one. Oh well. Chad's a little harder to get with the bomb. This pattern isn't as straight. Gives hearts? Not bad. What do I think the biggest video game disappointment in 2012 was? Uh, I think I mentioned this before, but Darksiders 2. I like Darksiders 2 up until the last 20% of the game or so. And then I got so fed up with it that I, that I just quit. It just turned into a slog. I didn't play a ton of new games in 2012. Oh wait! Did I actually get the secret room in, on the last floor? Or was it just on my map because I picked up the map? I forget. Oh well. Too late now. Wow, that's a lot of projectiles. Bob's rotten head, eh? Well, that wasn't very useful. Deck of cards. Man, I'm liking this uh, Dead Sea Scrolls habit combo. It's not as good as Book of Revelations habit, but it's still kind of cool. You know, maybe I should have taken myself down to half a heart. I probably could have prevented a lot of damage in that room. And, now that I have the virus, I would do damage every time I touch an, en touch an enemy as well. Huh. Oh well. Aww. Sorry, Postmont. I didn't realize how much of an advantage it would actually be. Well, if I find a blood machine, I'll take myself down to half a heart that way. Of course, the problem with that is I have to be careful not to pick up any hearts laying around, or I uh, I did it for nothing. The Book of Sin. It spawns a power-up, or not a, not a power-up, but a pickup, which would be useful with the habit. I'm not sure if it's more useful than the Dead Sea Scrolls. Actually, it probably is, because there's, there's a chance it'll drop 
um, a soul heart. Chance of spirit heart drops. Yeah, exactly. I call it a soul heart, even though I guess the technical term for it is is a spirit heart. I don't know where the term soul heart came from, but I'm, I'm sure I saw someone referring to it by that name at some point. Oh, money, huh? Oh, more money, huh? Ooh, an arcade, huh? Aw, super greed. Oh, uh, I knew my luck was going to run out sooner or later. Ow. Ow. Sorry for the silence, but I'm trying to focus since I am not good at fighting any incarnation of greed. Wow, you can get cards from the Seven Sins book too? I didn't know about that. Well, I guess it makes sense because it is a pickup. Just for some reason I thought it was just going to be hearts, uh, keys, and bombs. And soul hearts. I'm going for a blood bag here. Oh! Speak of the devil. Of course that refills my health, so I can't do the, uh, I can't do my strategy. But I only have two soul hearts now anyway. Duke, stop. What? Yes? What would you like to say, Kostya? I'm too low on spirit hearts for that now. Yeah, exactly. Your book recharges when you use a blood machine. Oh yeah, that's true. I could have, uh... Oh yeah, I, I guess I could do that in here, in the, uh... At this blood machine. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I guess I should do... Man. So many options. Use the fortune teller for spirit hearts. Oh no. I do not want the tick. The tick makes bosses start with a little less health. <laughs> Two of diamonds. I can double my money, guys. But once you pick up the tick, you can't get rid of it. Which really sucks. The lucky toe, I forget what exactly that does. The fort, it, may, it gives you a chance of regaining a little bit of health when you kill an enemy. Jesus Christ. Okay. Double my keys again. Wow, I am kind of breaking the game right now. Gotta be honest. What's the other pink card? Uh, good question. Oh, the Joker. Awesome. Let's go ahead and use that. Why not? Dead Dove. Basically the same effect as Spirit of the Night. If I didn't already have Spirit of the Night.
Now see, if I had the bloody coin, and I had a chance of getting hearts every time I picked up a coin, it would be all the more broken. <coughs> Excuse me. Technically, I should use my money before before I hit the uh, the blood bank. Wow, I can do this too. I can just hit this with the shield up all day. All day long. But uh, I'm not too worried about money right now, is what I was about to say. Uh, I could keep using this guy, but honestly I don't want to sit here all day, so I'm just going to blow him up. More money and hearts. Of course. Oh man, I, I don't know which trinket to take. Um, I don't really remember what. Well, the Polaroid. I guess I should hold on to just just in case I I get any more blood banks. Stick with the Polaroid, yeah. So many hearts. I'm a fucking tank. I agree. By the way, sorry the chat sensor is on. If I actually had the uh, Twitch page up, I would uh, turn the sensor off. But I can't do that from the client. Well, I have to say, I have a newfound respect for the puller right now. I always thought it was just the item that you picked up so you could do the chest, but it actually uh, it actually has a use. Have I gotten the? Yeah, okay. Couldn't remember if I got the item room yet or not. Did I get the item shop? Yes. Oh yeah, it was super great. Man, I've spent a lot, of, a lot of time on this level, but it was worth it. I am a walking disaster. Oh yeah, use the book. Another soul heart. Um, I don't see any reason to really explore the rest of the level too much. I got the item room. I got the item shop. Gertie. I don't hate Gertie as much as I used to. He used to be one of my least favorite bosses, but it's not that bad. I've kind of gotten used to him. I mean, early on, when you first start playing the game, he is probably the worst boss you can run into before you, uh, before you beat Mom's heart a few times. And before you get the uh, the expansion. The bloat is by far the worst boss. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. Man, not worth anything. The Liberty Cat, pretty good, but I'm gonna hold on to the Polaroid. And I already got what's in here. Alright, so I am done. Man, these things just had to kill my good mood, didn't you, game? Oh well, at least I can fly. That makes them a lot easier to deal with. I'm not restricted to just one part of the screen to avoid them. Huh. It's kind of a weird room for this late in the game. 
wonder if there have been any updates since the last time I played. Because it has been a while. One up. Not too shabby. Alright, which way is the item room? Actually, I should probably go up. Oh, okay. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Now kills have a chance to heal me. Not that I need it. Lol. Alright. I need to not get cocky. Because every time I get cocky, I die in the stupidest way possible. Things. Ah yes, that was an excellent bomb. Tinted rock in the bottom right corner. Oh, in here? Oh, didn't even see that. Boss is probably left. The red patch. Yeah, it's okay. I think I'll hold on to the Polaroid though. Yeah, it's worth it to hold on to the Polaroid. Just in case you find another blood bag. Because it's a very good chance of getting an another blood bag. I want Duke to win this one very much. Thank you. I want me to win it too. Ah oh man, I can use my Polaroid to abuse this guy too. Of course I only have five soul hearts now. I only have six soul hearts. Okay, it's good enough for me. And I can keep using my book as well. Would you drop strength? Eh, that's not bad. Hmm, the pad. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, normally I would take the pad over the Book of Sins any day, but since I'm using my strategy, what exactly does a polar do? When you get knocked down to half a heart, it gives you temporary invincibility, a temporary shield, which makes it very easy for you to abuse the uh, the blood the blood banks and the uh, the devil kids. Oh yeah, no reason for me to hold on to the hangman. Um. I think I'll keep the book. I mean, it hasn't dropped a ton of soul hearts, but uh, the chance, I mean, even having the chance, I don't know. It's worth holding on to, I think. Also, I was right about the boss, surprisingly. Uh, let's see, I could drop myself down, or I could, yeah. If I pick the hearts up, then I'm less likely to get down to half a heart. Eh, I'm okay with that. Use my strength card on this guy. Now. 
Yeah, after I beat Loki, I'll go back and pick up all those hearts. Well, just one heart is all I need, actually. And more soul hearts. And a god room. Ooh, the Bible. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good because you can instantly kill mom. But I think I have to hold on to the sins book. Alright, I am full up on hearts. And I think I'm done here. I think go ahead and use that. Two of spades. Double my keys again. Up to 90 keys. Wow. This is a really good playthrough. Oh yeah, I could have gone back for the item shop. Actually, I should have done that. Damn it. Oh well. I mean, I have all these coins. I might as well spend them on something. Even with all the stuff I have, I still don't feel confident that I'm going to be able to beat the chest. I might make it to the chest, but man, the chest, it is just absurd. It, it's like, you know how in Doom, they made Nightmare Mode as a joke against people complaining that the game was too easy? Well, the chest is like that. It's like, there's no way they could have even been serious with this. Of course, I think I said that about the cathedral at 1.2, and I beat that eventually, so you never know. The world. Don't need it because I have the map. Remote detonator. Cool, but not as cool as the book in my current situation. Before Wrath of the Lamb, I could beat the game every time easily. Now it's a 50-50 chance if I can beat the game or not. I mean, I can, I can almost... Well, I shouldn't say that because I haven't done it in this stream yet. But I can almost always beat the womb. Usually beat the womb. But I haven't I haven't done it lately, so I guess I shouldn't talk. Sometimes I can beat the cathedral. I've made it to the chest a couple times. That's as far as I got. Uh, the magician's a little bit more useful than the world, I guess. I wonder if the Book of Sins can spawn uh, trinkets. I haven't seen it do it yet. I figure probably not, since the Book of Sins predates the Wrath of the Lamb. And I doubt he would have added that into the code. That'd be pretty cool though. Another blood machine in there for me to abuse. And a chance to get some good trinkets. I forget what the curved horn does. Might as well pick it up since I have an extra slot. Pinky eye makes some of your shots uh, poisonous. It's pretty good. I'll probably pick that up. Like 
charm. Fire today. I love Kane. See the safety cap. I think it gives you better pills, or maybe it just identifies the pills for you. The curse skull uh, teleports you out of the room if you get knocked down to half a heart. I don't really like the curse skull that much, to be honest. Cursed skull, not curved. Uh, let's see. Man, there's too much crap around the stupid slot machine. Alright, I'm not gonna waste too much more time in here, I don't think. I really don't need that key. More soul hearts. Uh, let's see. I will hold on to the chariot. That is the best card I have access to at the moment. Curse Skull is horrible. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't see any reason to ever pick that up. Yeah, I could have kept going and tried to get Skatol, but I really don't want to waste that much time. I mean, Skatol is okay. It's not really worth spending that kind of time trying to get. Ow. I love the chariot card I did. Oh, must have happened when I picked that pill up. All right, pick the right direction yet again. All right, this is going to be a uh, mom, so I, I think I should be able to handle her this time. Oh man, is this version of Mom? I think this is the one that only drops spiders. No, maybe it's just more spiders than, than normal. Only spiders and greed heads, maybe? All right, well, that went okay. <laughs> I could have two Polaroids. Oh, no, I can't. Well, let me pick it up. My cane hits like a truck. Yep. I'm uh, pretty awesome. Alright. I don't think there's anything else I want to do on this level. I'm done. I handled it very well. Thank you, Kostya. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Ah, oh, man. Utero XL? Really? <sighs> okay.
I mean, I guess technically it's easier this way because it's less overall map that I have to uncover. It's just such a huge map, man. Glad I have the map. The map item. That would make the utero significantly easier. Damn it. Oops. I shouldn't have tried that, oh well. I just hate to get the bad gas pill because I always just use it just to get it out of my inventory. But just this one time, I wanted to use it for its intended purpose. Plus, utero is harder than the womb, yeah. That as well. Troll bomb! It's not very nice of you. Ah, I'm not fighting greed. All right, I'm not going to head right here because I can tell that that's not going to be anything. Because there's always going to be one boss room behind the other, so I'm just going to uh, uh, let's head up, I guess. Oh, it's the uh, what's this guy's name? The host, something like that. The hive. No, the hive is just an enemy. I forget what that guy's name is. Oh, hi, Doppel. Alright, is it worth going in here? Mm, no, I don't think so. I can't see up. Is there anything else up here? No, I guess not. Probably wasting my time coming into this room, but oh well. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna run for the hills. Run for my life. Ooh. Something to spend some money on. I'm just going to use that to get it out of my inventory. So it's not sitting there. Head for the hills is the saying. Except in the Iron Maiden song, which is run for the hills. Which is what I was referencing. Too many trinkets. And none of them are cancer. Two of diamonds. Why not? Ooh, there's cancer. Alright. So I want cancer and the Polaroid. <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, clear a little room here. Make it a little bit easier to get. Alright, there we go. There's cancer. Okay, I pull. Okay. Cancer in the Polaroid. There we go. For the hell of it, one of them might have been a uh, a tinted tinted rock. You never know. You can't tell which rocks in the womb and the utero are the tinted ones. Ooh, spirit heart. All right, uh, the boss is definitely not to the left or down. 
So let's head back up and then head left. Hanged man, boo. Another hanged man, boo. Man, is there not a better tarot card I can pick up? I guess not. Hmm. Oh well. Head back up. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah. I guess I should use my damn book, huh? I'm so used to it recharging when I get hit that I forget that it can recharge normally as well. Head back up? How come? Damn, it is being generous with these empty rooms. Uh oh. Okay. Well, at least it's just the hearts and not the masks. I hate the goddamn masks. Especially the mask of infamy. Oh man, don't get me started on that guy. What a pain in the tuchus. Pisses me off so much he makes me say words like took us. Hey, I was behind the rock. Oh well. At least I have all these soul hearts, so it won't take away my spirit heart. Bad gas. Think the bosses are the end of that C-shaped corridor to the left. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh I'll circle him around so I don't have to go through two rooms. Yeah, this is a good run. I'm using strategy and everything. Alright, don't jinx yourself, Duke. Still have a long way to go. It's Monkey Fracas Jr. Oh wait, no. No, that's something else. Crap, it's late. Have I really been streaming for four and a half hours almost? That is insane. What the hell is wrong with me? Well, since I'm only streaming once a week instead of twice a week, I try to give them a little extra content. Try to make up for it a little bit. Sorry for anyone who's in England, because even though I started relatively early, it's still like fucking 3 o'clock in the morning there now. I think everyone, all, all the English people have left by this point though. Yeah, straight line left. I know he's from England. Alright, well, boss number one. What will it be? Please don't be the Mask of Infamy. Oh, thank god. Blast assist. Probably the easiest boss you can get in this situation. Ow. You're not supposed to land on me. That wasn't part of the agreement. He's behaving differently than, uh, than the blast assist I'm used to. There must be a different version of him or something. Now he's acting. It's like super blast assist. 
Normally he doesn't uh, leap up in the air and come down on you like that. He's kind of behaving like monster there at first. That was weird. Oh, more health. Wow, I lost all my soul hearts doing that? That sucks. I'm not English, but I'm in the UK. Oh yeah, that's right. Kostya. God, look at all those hearts littering the map. That's crazy. Okay, well, mom's heart. Let's see if I can keep my spirit heart. Probably not, but... We all have to have dreams and aspirations. Nope. Oh, oh well. Plus, I have my 1-up as well, so even if I do die in the cathedral, I still have that going for me as well. Oops. Overshot her. Oh well. Looks like she's out permanently now. Well, not permanently. She's out until I kill her. Should be in a couple minutes here. So, so nice to have the ability, ability to fly when you're fighting mom's heart. Or it lives, I should say. So have a uh, that guy pay LPs with lots of subscribers to play their games. Well, you know, Kostya, I wouldn't be surprised if that kind of thing goes on from time to time. Since Duke stopped streaming by Nevisic, I haven't played it since, but I feel like doing it right now. Yeah, uh, I I I made people. Well, I didn't make them, but I uh, I made people want to get Hotline Miami with that stream as well. Maybe Duke can get some money while eating Doritos and Mountain Dew. Well, if any uh, game publishers out there want to pay me and have Doritos and Mountain Dew sponsor me, I am open to offers. Uh, let me just stretch a little bit here. I've been sitting here for a long time. Okay. Cathedral. I have the Polaroid. I'm ready to go. What are my stats like anyway? I'm pretty good. My uh, range could use some work. Oh, hi, Double Loki. I still don't know if I uh, if I'm powerful enough to take on the chest. I don't know <laughs> if I can even beat Isaac. Have I beaten Isaac on the stream? I, I must have. Yeah. I couldn't remember if I've beaten him on the stream or not. I know I've beaten Satan on the stream. Now you blow up the door. Don't give me keys. Give me something I can actually use. Ow, damn it. Die. Thank you. Ooh.
Chest only spawns after beating the boss in Cathedral if you're holding the Polaroid. Yes, that's why I have to hold on to the Polaroid, even if I didn't want to. Ah. Of all the awesome things that could have been in this room. Oh well. I wish the game was still glitched out where you can just go through these doors if you're flying. That would be nice. I think you should take advantage of spectral tears more. Stay behind rocks and shoot. Yeah, I always kind of forget I have those. I think right is probably the most likely. Plus, I don't always really trust the ability of rocks to block shots from hitting me. <gasps> Damn it! Piece of crap. Okay. Uh, I don't need to risk trying to get that. Hmm. Not worth trying to use him or blow him up. If I had a lot of soul hearts. Then I could use the uh, the Polaroid spam thing. Ignore him, yeah. I agree. Oh my god. Well, let's see. I can double my money. Awesome. Dodging like a boss. Yep, that's me. Alright. I have chosen wisely. Ow! I do wish I had more health going into Fight Isaac, though. I'm not very bullish about my chances of beating Isaac right now. Is that right? Bullish is the good one, right? I'm not up on my uh, stock trading terminology. I'll be in a good position if I can beat him with the amount of hearts I have. Yeah, that's true. I will be in a pretty good position. Because as soon as you go into the chest, there are, uh, well, there are chests that you can open if you have enough keys. Blow up the beggar. Yeah, I guess I might as well. Oops. Kind of freaked myself out there. Oh, spiders. Big surprise. Okay. Alright. I I almost always get spiders when I blow up the beggar. Alright, here goes. Final boss of the cathedral. Let's go. Now, the bad thing about having cancer when you're fighting Isaac is that it just increases doubles his number of shots as well. The best position when you fight Isaac is to have very high damage and shot speed is not a priority. I guess I could use bombs as well. Ah, stupid keys. This book is not listening to me. Books never listen to me. Alright, now the fun starts. I hate anything with purple shots. It feels extremely cheap. Like that, that was pretty cheap. Stop the purple shots any day now. Also, it just seems like his purple shots are so much more effective than mine when I have them.
I really hope I don't die. I'd like to save my mushroom for if I go into the chest. Damn it! Stupid purple shots. Okay. I'm not doing much damage right now. Yeah. It would be nice if my damage was all the way up. Okay, well, I still have a chance. I was doing so well. Yeah, for a second. Ooh. Now see, that's the kind of thing that I want, book. Drop more cards. Cards and pills. That's the life for me. And if not, cards and pills and hearts are pretty good too. No, not keys. Haven't we been over this book? Not, especially not money. Jesus. It's even more useless than keys. Um, I'd say they're about equally useless at this point in my life. My left earbud is falling out, but I can't fix it right now. So I'm only getting 50% audio. I am at a distinct disadvantage. Magician? Well, I'll take it, but... Okay, now the real fun starts. Never mind. <sighs> Hierophant cars and balls of steel pills. Yeah, that would have been nice. In another world. Okay, well. I'm, I'm okay with that run. Would have liked to make it to the chest, but... They can't all be zingers. You shouldn't have talked, yeah. Probably not. Would have had it easily if I had more damage, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, well, I had a lot of fun streaming tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed Laser Cat and the Binding of Isaac. Uh, I will be back soon. I don't know how soon. Uh, please subscribe to me on Twitch. And please follow me on Facebook and Twitter, uh, facebook.com slash dukeofthebump, twitter.com slash dukelps, and follow me on YouTube. There's a link to it under the thing. I wish I was here for Laser Cat. Well, it'll be on YouTube soon, so you'll be able to see. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you later.